got out of a workout class I did a step aerobics class I normally come during the week and take the one that they have on Tuesdays but they've always had this one on Saturday mornings and I've just never tried it and it's a different instructor so I just you know I just have never gone and it's at 8 in the morning which means I have to like wake up extra early just so I have time to like do my morning routine and get here on time but um, last night I just I really did not want to go and I almost canceled the class last night and I'm so glad I didn't I'm so glad I woke up got out of bed moved my body um, I felt kind of sluggish the last couple days because I'm on my period so <laughs> I just didn't want to move but now it's like day three so I, I just I'm glad I I got out of bed and came and moved my body it just feels really good so now I'm headed to meet my parents for breakfast I have my dad's um, Christmas present this came in the mail like a week ago but yeah I think I'm just gonna listen to a podcast and head there we're going to the harvest room in Munster which is one of my favorite restaurants because it's farm to table and it's from like local farms and they cook well they you can ask them to cook your food in olive oil which I love um, I'm really sensitive to like vegetable oils and stuff like that so yeah I'm excited let's go I just got some Starbucks. Um, this is the Grande Iced Americano with heavy whipping cream and sugar-free vanilla syrup. It's my favorite. It's like low carb and low sugar, all that kind of stuff. Um, but they put way too much cream in here. It's a little, a little too much cream. I did a quick little makeup look, which took me like not even 10 minutes. I just have like bronzer as my eyeshadow. Um, did a really quick, slick, fun, actually filmed a quick little tutorial for Instagram so I'll post that soon but I wanted to show you my new bedding I got a new bedding from parachute I'm really excited so I opened up the box yesterday because my friend was over and we were looking at it because she was actually just debating um, some bedding from them too so we were kind of looking at the quality to see if it was like worth it or whatever so I got let's see this is a I think this is a linen quilt and then I got the Percal duvet cover in white. And then I got the fitted sheet and top sheet in the Percal fabric and in the color, I forgot the color, I'll put it on the screen. Um, and then I got pillowcases and all that. So I'm gonna bring all of this upstairs, lay it on the bed just to get an idea of the color and make sure I like it. And then I'm gonna wash it and then make the bed. Hi goo, hi baby, dum dum dum. Hi, Tum Tum Tum. Okay, so this is what our bed looks like now. I like kind of just threw it together this morning. I didn't want to like make it too much because I knew I was going to be redoing the bedding today. So this set was from Crate and Barrel. I like the duvet cover itself is fine, but look at the sheets. I just feel like in like the pillow, do you see from me sweating just how it just gets so dingy? So it's not a good bright white color anymore. So it was just time to get some new sheets so I feel like on line it looked more beigey so you can see how dingy our comforter and stuff is from this this is like a nice bright white and then these will be the sheets and some of the pillows and then this is the quilt that's just gonna go right here or I can lay it 
like over the bed as well just to have that option of just like another blanket in here so this will be the vibe um i'm just surprised at how gray it is i feel like ruben's really gonna like that i was hoping for a little bit more of like a warmer tone but i think it's nice i think he'll like it and it probably will look better in here anyways than if we went too warm toned so i'm just gonna run this through the washer my bedding is now done washing i'm just gonna make the bed and show you the end result because i think it's gonna look really good i'm really excited I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong But life can be furious and things can go wrong You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow But who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow To the fire in your heart and your soul Don't trench your desiring What you can't control We fly, we fly Try so hard together And we might, we might Be lost but not forever There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end, the end Okay, so this is what it looks like. Look at the lighting in here right now. It's so gorgeous. But this is the new bedding and I love the way it looks it just kind of cozies it up in here a little bit i really want to work on these nightstands and making them look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing i'm so over this orchid i've had this orchid since like 2017 and it's just not my style anymore and i just kind of threw it up here just to put it somewhere but yeah i want to do i don't know what exactly send me inspo on instagram i'd love to see I don't know, you guys know my vibe. I like modern, I like pottery, I like wood tones, and all, you, you know what I like. So if you find something you think I'd like, let me know. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to make this a little bit more aesthetically pleasing in here, and I like the cozy vibes of this new comforter and blanket and everything. So I did the darker sheets and pillowcases because I sweat, and then I get... Um, I've made so many like sweat stains on our old sheets, so I went with the darker sheets, did the white duvet and duvet insert, got this body pillow, which I need to steam this and steam this, and this is a linen quilt. So everything is from Parachute, and then the body pillow and the body pillow case is from Amazon. So, but I just, I love it, and then I went with the thinner, duvet it's not a real down insert it's actually a lot thinner because we sweat get really hot we actually leave the house at like 63 degrees while we sleep and i put the fan on so it's just we need it really cold and then um here's just my nightstand right now i've got my thermometer whoop, thermometer for my birth control remotes glasses my new alarm clock, which I'm loving, and then these are the books that I've been reading. So I just got this little container from the container store, and I think I need one more to fit inside of my nightstand so that I can do some just cute decor and make this actually like just cute looking, and then everything can be inside the drawer so this isn't just like ugly, you know what I mean? So just wanting more cozy vibes in here, and I just love the way that looks. Okay, so I got these new glasses from Crate and Barrel and they got delivered this morning. So I'm gonna unbox them and see what they're all about. I've been getting, I don't know, I've just really been working on our home and keeping it more cozy. And I don't know, this year I just really wanna work on the home decor in the house. 
and just make it a little bit homier, a little less empty. I love the modernness of our house, but I just want it to be a little bit more cozy, whatever. So I don't know if I showed you this yet, but I got this new table, which right now I've got stuff on it and it's not styled and everything, but um, it's from Crate and Barrel. It's from the Leanne Ford collection. These chairs are from Target. They were actually super inexpensive. I think they were right around $200, but I got them on sale. They were such a good deal. This vase is from Pottery Barn, and then the fake olive tree branches are from Amazon. This is where I'm thinking we can do the podcast at because it'll be just a lot easier than sitting on the couch, and I got these new podcast stands. Oh, shit. I just tripped over my boots. I got these new podcast stands, so it'll be, or microphone stands, so it'll be easier to talk into. Then I'm thinking of doing a black and white gallery wall right there of our wedding photos, and I think that would be super cute. And then here, I would love to do a floor mirror leaning on the wall and a black outlined arch. I just think that would look so good right there. Fill in that space, open this up a little bit, and just kind of break up all the squareness. <sighs> the only problem is Ruben is not a fan of round things. I really had to convince him in, about this table, but he actually really likes the table. So um, we'll see. I might just get it, and if he doesn't like it, I'll put it up in the filming room, but I just thought that would look so good right there. And like a nice, big, substantial one, one that's going to be wide enough to fit this whole space. I just think it would look so, so good. I'm gonna open up these cups and see what they're looking like. Ooh. Oh no, this one's broken! Okay, so these are the new glasses. I, oh, I love them. They are so cute and just vintagey, and I just, I see everyone drinking out of cups like these recently, and I just, I love them. Um, one of them came shattered, so I have to exchange that, but these are really nice quality. They're hefty, thick glass. I just, I love them. So, um, they also have shorter ones if you like that. They're more like, I don't know, I feel like they remind me of whiskey glasses. So hopefully they'll have some in stock. I ordered these like two months ago. I'm gonna straighten up around here. I've got some stuff here that I ordered from Gymshark that I need to either put away or send back because I have these sweatpants. They just looked stupid on me. Um, so I'm gonna return those. Kind of straighten up here. Just got to do a little bit of cleaning around here and straighten it up. I been trying to do a little bit every day to make sure that it doesn't get crazy and this is actually the messiest it's been in like two weeks so been really good at just maintaining and keeping it nice and clean um i'll probably just keep these blankets out because it's the end of the day i also i've been working on this youtube video i need to finish editing it i have the warm tone on it so it looks super orangey and it's a lot better on my eyes I've been doing that recently actually on my phone and on my laptop, keeping it um, more of that warmer tone so that it doesn't like burn my eyes. And now whenever I put on the cool tone or just turn that tone off, my eyes like it strains them. It's crazy. You don't really realize how bad the, like the computer screen and phone screen is for your eyes until you turn that off. But I'm gonna finish the editing. I'm gonna clean the house. And then I think I'm gonna sit down and read with the dog. You wanna read with me? Caught behind Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset Digging deep since nine What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way, fell between the foam. Don't look before you 
Set a toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding I'm easy kill Don't leave it all behind Okay, so I just cleaned up really quick uh, The sunset pretty fast um yeah i just did some dishes i still have to take the tags off of the new glasses before i wash them i didn't i have to fill up these water bottles we just reuse the same water bottles over and over again but yeah i just did a quick once over um everything is in here is nice and straightened up um i just keep the blankets here because this is what we cozy up in at night when we watch tv and stuff so yeah i just lit some candles this one is from target it's part of the magnolia collection and then this one is one of the way candles um they sent these a couple months ago and i saved them for this time of year because when they sent them it was like fall time and it was like mm -mm, i've got my fall and winter candles all set and ready to go so um yeah i'm excited to burn those now and then i've got these ones that i got from hobby lobby they're just fake flicker candles so love those um where is my phone so i am going to sit down and finish editing my video and then uh probably prep dinner and read a book like i mentioned before balance all these things and try to strive for so much in my career while also having balance in my life and keeping a tidy house. Um, by the way, I just put together some of my favorite shadows. Everything organized and clean. So I just got done editing. It is saving right now to my external hard drive and then I'm gonna upload it. I, so while it's doing that, I'm just gonna sit and read on the couch with my dog. And I'd like to spend at least an hour reading. Ruben's at work, so I think I've got time. I'm going to do the It Ends With Us. I wanted to share all of the different books that I've been reading and the journals I've been reading, devotions and stuff like that, because the beginning of this year, I really wanted to focus on just becoming a better person and expanding my mind and creating better habits and a better routine for myself so i've just found a lot of happiness in these things and i thought that i would share them because you might find some happiness as well so i first and foremost i got two different devotionals for christmas and i've really been liking them so the one that i do in the morning and they're by the same author sarah young um this is jesus listens i've really been enjoying this devotional in the morning um honestly because it's in the white color and I just think morning bright so I've been doing this and then at night I do the Jesus Calling one by the same author and the one that I have is in this black like suede material so I just think like nighttime um, but I've really really been liking these because I just feel like I could always do better with my faith and my spirituality and i really want to grow that more this year um just because i haven't i haven't really focused on that as much as i wanted have wanted to so um i've really been enjoying those and now it's been a whole month and i've definitely used them a lot and then i really wanted to get a journal and i'm not even like a journal person i don't enjoy writing down my feelings uh, that sort of thing just like really makes me uncomfortable but i see everybody talk about the five minute journal so i decided to get it and i actually really 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 enjoy it so it's by the brand intelligent change and in the beginning they have like i don't know just all of this information on how it's beneficial and how it's like scientifically proven that when you're grateful you automatically feel better and stuff and what i like about it is that every day there's a different quote or a challenge and it's very very simple what am i grateful for what would make today great a daily affirmation a daily affirmation highlights of the day and what did i learn today it's super quick it takes less than five minutes and it just helps me to just start and end the day with a grateful heart and even the days where i've been kind of just feeling lost or overwhelmed or 
in a bad mood or the sun's not out and I'm just kind of like blah, it helps me just take my mind off of that and focus it on the good in the day. And I've actually, it's been very easy to keep up with it. So I've really, really been loving this and I just love the aesthetic of it too. It just, it's fun to write in. So I ordered that and then I also ordered the productivity planner from the same brand. So this is what this one looks like. I like the aesthetic of this too. I love the black. Um, and this just kind of breaks down each day very simply so that you can get all of the tasks done and not feel so overwhelmed. And then it also has like at the beginning of the week, let's see here, notes at the end, um, week in review, and then weekly planning, and then daily planning. So I am getting better with my scheduling and staying on track. Um, but I find that I'll like schedule 15 things for me to do in a day and I just, I get overwhelmed and I either don't complete anything because I'm so overwhelmed with all of the tasks that I need to complete or I complete a good chunk of the tasks but because I didn't complete all of the tasks, I just don't feel like I did enough or that I've accomplished enough so then I get discouraged. So this just kind of helps me to be realistic and learn from my own habits. You can do a, week, a weekly review at the end of each week just to see what worked and what didn't work. And it's just very tangible and realistic and so far helpful. I, I'm so far I'm loving the journal more, but this is I think where I need more um, assistance. So it's helping me. I really, really like it. Um, I talked recently about red light therapy and how I've really, really been enjoying it. So I ordered the ultimate guide to red light therapy and this was very, very informational. This isn't really like a book that you would like want to read before bed or whatever. Um, but if you're interested in that topic, there's a lot in here on the science behind it, why it works. Um, and yeah, I've just learned a lot about red light therapy from this book. Okay. On to some other books. So I finished this one and um, this book is very talked about. It's very recommended. Um, I personally didn't love it. I feel like if you are somebody who just really feels very lost, very lost, and you feel stuck, in your life, I think that you would find a lot of benefit in this book. I find I've worked, if, if I read this book in 2016, I would have loved it. But I think that I'm kind of in a place now where I, I'm very happy with my life and I love, I really love self-help books, but more in a way to where, how can I just progress and stay more positive and, um, yeah, that, that's kind of the self-help book that I'm sort of looking for. This was more, I think, if you are feeling just so, so low and so down and you need that light at the end of the tunnel, I do think that you would enjoy this book and that's why I think it does have a lot of great reviews. But then I looked online and there were actually a lot of reviews that kind of felt similarly to me where it was like, I, like I couldn't relate to a lot of different things in this book. One thing I really did like about this book was just hearing about her life, learning about her love story and all of that I found super interesting and I enjoyed that part of the book. But um, as far as like applying it to my life, I couldn't really relate as much. So I didn't enjoy it as much as I think a lot of people would. So yeah, that's that book. And then I started this one because I really want to read a little bit before bed each night. So this is a fiction book and it's a love story. This is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Um, I just started it, so, but I mean, so far so good. The first chapter, it was a little, whoo, 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 whoo. I liked it. But yeah, I'd like to read at least 30 minutes every night before bed. I think that would be such a nice routine to get into. That, I mean, I literally read this in two days. Um, and I'm not a reader. I'm an audiobook listener, but I'm not like a read a booker. So, um, but I just feel so intelligent with all of these books. I've just enjoyed the peace and quiet and just sitting with the book in silence with low light and just cozying up with pretzel and reading a book. It's just, it's been really nice. So, so far I've really been enjoying this one. Um, 
I enjoy listening to like self-help books during the day and then at night I'm thinking that the fiction book will be nice to kind of just unplug and stop thinking about myself so much and how I can be a better person and, and just kind of um it's like watching a movie but in a book and then I got the classic you are a badass I normally would want a book like this to be in an audiobook but um funny story we always call my mom a badass she calls herself a badass and I was thinking you know what when I'm done reading this I can give it to her and see if she would want to read it but um I'm pretty sure this is just like a self-help book on how to be amazing or just to remind you of why you're amazing that's my guess so I haven't read this yet but I'm looking forward to it, it looks really you know doesn't look like there's a lot to it I also just finished indistractable I I listened to it I didn't read it um, but I really did enjoy that I did find it's so funny the whole book is about like not being distracted by other things and just staying focused and whatever and the whole time I found myself getting distracted I'm like bitch you need to read this again or listen to it again but I really did enjoy that they talked about how um, we're so distracted by social media and being on our phones and stuff and how that's not actually the problem the problem is our discipline and using technology and social media and and creating a structure with it so i've actually done that the last two weeks and i've gotten my social media time down to like 15 minutes a day which ooh, ooh, I am proud of myself now I don't go by screen time because I use my phone to check emails and communicate and do just a lot of different like work things and and like editing photos and stuff like that so I don't even look at my screen time as like an indicator but like my time on social media I'd like to, that to be under 30 minutes a day um, so I did find that that book was really helpful in that aspect um, especially because I mean social media is not going anywhere and I don't think that it's an, the enemy I think it is a tool that we can use and how to use it to our advantage instead of being like controlled by it so um, and then I also started oh no I finished the four agreements that's another one that I listened to that I, I would like to finish it again because it was really really quick super fast read and it's all about um, just four agreements that you make with yourself I'll list them here on the screen because I forgot them that was a really good one I think everyone would really like that book and he goes in depth about each one and how to just apply it to your life and what it means and not just taking those just word for word but also like in depth what they really mean I just really enjoyed that one last but not least this notebook I'm excited about this I got on Amazon it's just a really simple looking notebook but it is uh, for my workouts so let me open this up here to show you so I started a workout program recently so I don't want to share my workout since it's something that someone you know is someone put together and put a lot of thought into um, I'm currently doing maps aesthetic from mind pump but um, here you just write down what the workout is how many sets and reps you can put your cardio in other notes and then you can kind of just track your progress I've never followed a program so I'm really eager and excited just to see how my body performs and how it changes and how I, I'm just excited to see how strong I get I only have done this for a week so far and I'm already noticing a big difference and just feeling like oh wow I can really I can lift heavier than I thought I could and sometimes I'm afraid to and so I've actually been like recording myself to make sure that my form is right and I don't know I'm just feeling really excited and motivated because I've never followed a strict program that I bought from someone else I've always just kind of like went in the gym and did what I wanted to do so it's kind of challenging me to try new exercises and also stick with the basics and lift heavier so this is just really helpful to track my progress I'm a little overwhelmed sitting here looking at all of these different books and notebooks and stuff look at how many I have here but I've just I've really been loving them I feel like am I in focus I don't know this camera I really hope I was in focus for all that if not I'm whatever I'm gonna include it anyways um, I bought a new vlogging camera because this half the time just goes out of focus half the time if it's too dark I'll get these horizontal lights that are horizontal shadows that go up the camera and it doesn't go away um, 
and the focusing is just a big issue so I got a new camera that she'll it'll be here tomorrow I'm so excited I'll show maybe I'll show you when it comes in but I'm thinking I might just end the vlog today um, I might just end this vlog today and start up a new one tomorrow I don't know but yeah, that'll get delivered tomorrow. It doesn't have a recording limit, so I can use it for the podcast. I was waiting to get this really nice, big, fancy camera, but then I just decided I'm gonna be waiting forever if I wait any longer. So I just was like, let's get one that doesn't have a recording limit that can replace this camera. So I'm excited. I am quickly turning on this YouTube channel where they do like nature scenes. Here's this one. This is like a nighttime one that I really like, but this one's my favorite. I'm a mountain girl. And there's like birds chirping and everything, so that is what I'm gonna have on while I read. And it's just so romantic, I love it. Just got done reading for the day did about an hour um, and now I'm gonna prepare some dinner I'm gonna make some bacon wrapped jalapeno cream cheese filled chicken mm, it is one of my favorite dinners Ruben loves it I love it it's keto friendly low carb uh, there's a lot of cheese but I like it uh, so let's go make it you like a song that I sing in the morning Look great. You'll like the joy of a trip is coming to a place with ocean view. You'll like an old familiar friend when all is new. Let me know what some of your favorite books are, whether it be a self-help or a fiction novel, something like that. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm into, so let me know your favorites down below. I'm curious. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming throughout my weekend with me. I really enjoyed this. Um, let me know what other videos you want to see from me or what you'd like me to include in vlogs, what you think would make vlogs more exciting. Um, let me know what you think. And I'm so excited for this new camera. It's going to be so, so, so much easier to vlog, hopefully. And hopefully I won't have as many issues as I'm having with this one, so. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. Uh, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.